Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to uh, talk about assembly. Uh, assembly is something that contains all the geometries. That is, uh, let's say you have one or multiple parts, and you want to uh, make them something combined. And uh, let's start from the part module. You can see that in my part module, there are two parts here. Although uh, they may look the same, but actually their dimensions are different. Uh, let's see how their dimensions are from the section sketch. From the part one, you can see that it's 20, 20, and also uh, it's extruded uh, 20. And for the second part, if we go to the uh, sketch, you can see that it's 10, 10, and also it's extruded 10. So it's a 10, 10, 10 cube. The part one is 20, 20, 20 cube. And uh, uh, the first part is uh, 20, 20, 20 cube, and the second part is 10, 10, 10 cube. And let's say we want to uh, go to the assembly and uh, make them combined to uh, create an assembly. You can see that initially it's uh, uh, empty, and we have the option to create an empty. So basically, uh, you may think that an assembly contains all the parts. It actually doesn't contain all the parts directly. It contains instances of the part. That is, uh, we can import an instance of the part to the assembly window and uh, use it as many times as we want to make an assembly. Let's uh, show how it's done. So if we click uh, create instance, we can see that we have options to create instance from parts, and it's showing the two parts, part one and part two. And also, uh, the instance can be uh, dependent or independent. Uh, dependent means that the instance will be uh, depending on the part. If you modify anything, then uh, if you modify anything on the instance, then the part will be affected. Or if you make any modification to the part, the instance will be affected. If it's independent, then uh, it's not bound to the part anymore. It will uh, it will behave as if it's an independent thing from the part. So if you make any modification to the instance, the part will be unaffected. So let's make a dependent. Uh, let's keep the default uh, option and let's select part one. You can see that part one is actually imported into the window and. Uh, this is the part one, the bigger one, and uh, we can also like uh, create OK. So there's just only one instance of part one here. Now, if we uh, want to import the second part, we can see that the smaller one is here, uh, but it uh, the default positioning will be kind of inconvenient. It looks like the, the, that it's importing in, inside of the first part. So uh, let's select the auto offset so that uh, it's imported like at an offset uh, distance uh, selected by default from the system. And if we click OK, you can see that there are two uh, instances imported. So basically, uh, you can say that two parts are imported, but uh, technically speaking, these are the two instances of the parts. This is the part one and this is part two. And let's say, uh, you want to make an assembly that actually requires several instances of a part. Will you make the part four times if you need it four times? Absolutely not. You can just import another instance of that part. Let's say I want to import part two uh, and again. Then we I don't have to make part two again. I just can import another instance of part two. So I can uh, repeat it as many times as I want. And what other things can we do? Uh, you can see that uh, like part module, there are several options here uh, to help us uh, navigate through the assembly module. Uh, we can uh, edit the features. We can also uh, use partitioning. And we can use uh, the datum axis on datum planes or datum points, as we have seen in the part module. You can see that in the part module, this, uh, this section kind of, looks, uh, kind of looks like the same. 
So let's go back to the assembly module and uh, let's explore the options. We can do linear pattern uh, and it, it will ask us to uh, pattern one instance. Let's say I want to pattern this small one. And it's asking me like how many times I want to pattern and what would be the offset. And we, we can also see the preview. If we uh, unselect it, it will uh, remove the preview, but it's good to uh, see the preview, how it will be uh, imported. So I click uh, OK, and uh, it has created a linear pattern. That is, uh, it has copied and uh, created several more instances of and we can also do it radially, you know, uh, and you can imagine that it's the same thing. Uh, we can select just uh, one instance and it, it will show me that it's uh, radially uh, doing this. Uh, you can see that number is four, including the original one and the total angle is 90 degrees. If the total angle I change, then you can see that it will uh, create the pattern in a way so that it encompasses 180 degree. So let's keep it like this. And there are also several uh, convenient features like if we if we don't like the positioning and we have to position one instance, then there is translate instance. We can just select this, done. And it's asking me for a start point. Let's uh, say it's zero, zero, or we can select a point here, uh, as you can see highlighted. So let's say zero, 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 enter. And it's asking me for an end point. Let's say I want to go to minus Z direction. So I have to uh, just uh, enter the coordinate and create enter. You can see that it has moved to minus Z direction. I click OK. And uh, I can also rotate this. Uh, you, can, you can imagine that uh, this uh, will also ask me to select an instance. Let's say I want to uh, select this instance, done. And it's asking me for uh, to select an axis. I can do it by a point, a start point for the rotation vector, or I can select, let's say, Y axis. Uh, it's also showing me uh, the direction and also asking me for angle of rotation. So if I uh, say enter 120 degree, you can see that it has been rotated and went there from here. And uh, there are also several other things. Uh, another uh, option to uh, move the instances uh, relative to other instances, so translate to or create constraint. You can create constraints between uh, parallel faces uh, or a face to face and uh, parallel edge, coaxial, coincident point, etc. So you can actually uh, create constraints between uh, two instances, or you can uh, move one instance from uh, one place to another. Uh, for example, translate to somewhere. Several other options. Uh, like one could be merge or cut instances. Uh, you can merge different uh, instances. For example, if I select this, it will create another part by merging several parts, several part instances actually. And you can uh, select uh, geometry, uh, you can merge geometry or mesh or both. And also you can uh, delete the original instances. Let's say you don't want these many instances, you want to merge them together and uh, you can uh, apply several restrictions or conditions on them. Like, uh, do you, would you like to uh, keep the intersecting boundaries or not? So these are kind of uh, pretty self-explanatory. And uh, uh, so that's kind of a complete how to navigate through uh, the assembly module. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll do uh, discuss uh, several other modules like uh, step and load.